Hey guys, it's Phoenixology again. I know it's been a while. Things have been hectic. I've been really busy, but I decided to make a quick video of caring for your candle. This is our candle care guide that we ship with all of our candles just to make sure that you're reducing chances of any accidents happening. So the main thing we want to talk about is burning your candle. The first thing you want to do is trim your wick to a quarter inch before lighting. The example that I'm doing, I'm not going to trim the wick so the flame is a little bit higher than I am comfortable with but if we had trimmed the wick it would have cut down the flame height a little bit and it will still give you that even burn. You definitely want to make sure you're burning your candle on a flat surface free of furniture drapes and draft and definitely you want to put it in an area that it's less chance of getting knocked over. Keep it out of the reach of children and pets because we don't want anyone getting burnt at all. And you definitely want to make sure that you don't have any loose drapes, any clothing. You don't want to put it in, in an enclosed area because just because you don't see the flame does not mean that there is a possibility of something close by getting caught on fire. So the visible flame, we expect for it to burn something. But in this example, I'm going to show you that beyond the flame that we can see, there is a still an area where there is an invisible flame that if something gets near it, something flammable, it can still burn you. So I'm going to take a paper towel and we're going to test this out right here. All right, so you notice that I am not on top of the flame, but it's still catching on fire. So this is why it's very important that you put it in a safe place. You don't put it in a cabinet, even though it's open, but you have a shelf above it. You want to be careful of that. You don't want to put it on a table near where the curtains are. The wind will blow the curtain over the flame by accident. And even at that level, I was still feeling the heat. So you have to remember, just be cautious of the flame that you do not see. So when you burn it for the first time, you want to make sure that you melt the top layer completely. And that way, it keeps your wax from tunneling. When you relight it again, you'll be able to still get the wax that's on the side. You won't have a middle area that's burnt and melt and melted, but the outside is still full of wax. So this is what you want your candle to look like when you first burn it. When you relight it, trim your wick again because this is a, a relit candle that I did not trim again just so you can see what it looks like. The flame is way higher and it's smoky and you get a lot more soot with it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow this out. I'm going to trim my wick and light it again so you can see the safest way to light your candle. When I trimmed my wick, the flame was at a lower level. So be safe when lighting the candle.